Okay, so I wanna make this simple and just show you guys the actual 3D cream foundation and the uh, double-ended Saint 3D brush. I already have my eyeshadows on um, and you can purchase all of that and have it all in your compact. But again, I wanted to show you guys just the cream foundation, contour, bronzer, uh, cheek, and illuminator. And everything is magnetic. It all fits in here. I could still fit another one in here. Um, you get to choose the colors that you like, such as the blush. I help you choose these colors. Now, I have three colors because right now I am kind of at a kind of a lighter point with it being spring. And I also use a darker color for like where I have darker pigment, darker under eye, and then I kind of mix these now for my overall. And then I can brighten a tiny bit with that. But the great thing is these things are only $14. So I can get basically concealer, foundation, color corrector for as much as you would pay, if not less than for a regular foundation. So let's get started. I'm going to start out and all of these are creams, so they're so easy to work with. You can use your fingers, you can use your brush, you can use both, you can do it however you want. There's no right or wrong. Okay, so I always start out with what are my dark points? That's my under eye, see how that just kind of neutralized? With cream, it takes on such a skin-like finish, but because of that, if you have any blemishes, you need to make sure that you match the depth of your skin. The cool thing is too, when I start getting color, I will be able to use this color as my main color. So nothing really goes to waste. Now I'm gonna show you guys, uh, let's do, actually let's do contour. So that is this dark, scary looking color. Again, I'm gonna use the same brush and really I'm only gonna use one end for almost all of it. These brushes are made for the creams. They're made to distribute the product, not collect. And all I'm doing is chiseling my face out, okay? Let's lift those cheekbones. Let's draw some, or make some more dimension in our face. Let's sharpen that jawline. And I had never contoured before Saint, and now I would never go back. I, I just am so used to seeing my face. You don't always have to do your nose. Let's do a little slight cut. Now, now let's fill in the rest. So basically, I'm going to kind of, along my jawline where it's lighter, I'm gonna dab in the light one and dab in my mane. And that is what, when people say, it just looks, it doesn't look like makeup, that is what I want. I want it to look like skin. I love that I don't look like I have heavy cakey makeup, and that is because we are custom color matching you. I am trained, so all I need is a picture of you. Okay, so I've kind of ombre down. Now I'm gonna use this main shade. And if you guys can see, I'm stippling. So pushing it, pushing it in and filling in where we didn't. And then, and everything just blends. I mean, look, I'm not even having to really blend. And then we'll go back and brighten a little bit, okay? Now we're gonna go on to bronzer. It is different. Contour is ashier and meant to carve out to mimic shadows. Now bronzer is meant to warm the face back up. So it can go, I'll kind of stamp it so you guys can see, where the sun would naturally hit your face. Okay, so kind of on top. And then I tend to buff a little because my neck's a little lighter. So I tend to kind of really drag that down here. You could go a little over your nose and then buff it in. Okay, so press, everything blends like a dream. And this look is gonna be kind of an earthy look because I picked our new um, lip and cheek called Rosewood. So you can use your finger. Cream blushes are so pigmented. I mean, that was like the tiniest dab again. Same side of this brush. Any skin type can wear this. Oily, normal, dry creams are what, I mean, they're just magic. Any uh, age, they're wonderful for young girls because, sorry, I'm sounding like an infomercial, but it's hard. Not to, because they're awesome. 
and use it for young girls because it's very healthy and it looks natural and it's not heavy. Mature skin, so anybody over 40, it's wonderful. It has a moisturizing agent. It moves with the skin. You can put it on your lips. I have drier lips, so I use a lip gloss. I'll show you guys. Um, and then the last step, so I don't have my powder in here, but I could have my powder and then, oh, I know, I was gonna brighten a little. Then a little bit of Illuminator. And that is just kind of gonna pick the light up, make you look a little bit more youthful. I'm gonna flip my compact and you guys traveling. I mean, I'm gonna take that other end and I'm going in with the lightest color and I'm just kind of brightening that center of my face, but making sure I don't get a lot of product under the eye because a lot of times we don't really need it here and that's where we could see some creasing, but with cream, it doesn't settle and you can always just press it in. Now, I always have to put my glasses on for one final blend, but if you want color matched, all I need is a picture. Click the link in my bio hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you want to try 3D foundation.